Hello, hello, hello guys and welcome back to a new video. Today, Project Cars has released. Um, oh yeah, as of yesterday. It released on Friday the 28th of August 2020. And on the day before that day I made a, f made a video about three reasons why you shouldn't buy uh, Project Cars free. Um, and yeah, I think it was. It's only fair to make a counter video telling you guys why it is, uh, why why it is a good game and why you should buy the game. Um, I have uh, typed down some reasons on my computer why you should buy it. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna realize some more reasons while I record this video. So I'm just gonna add it and try to keep to the script, but yeah, let, let's just try and make this video. <laughs> uh, go, okay, okay, I'm just gonna start. Um, reason one, um, the game is so much fun to play. Um, that's not a reason. The, the the reason is the the handling. The new handling model is so much fun to play uh, the game with. Um, it's so 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 much fun. It's not simulator like uh, handling, but it's just so much fun. Um, okay, uh, for example, when you drive uh, in Project Cars 2, you drove these uh, normal car. It could be a Ferrari, uh, a Mercedes. It could be a Toyota, and whatever. They were so boring to drive, um, and you had to drive them in. At least in single player in early game, as of you you have to do the same now. But they're so much more fun to drive now because they in in, in Project Cars two uh, and one you couldn't oversteer without losing the car and whatever. Now you can actually oversteer and have a power slide and do all this kind of fun stuff without losing that much time when you are in these cars. You still lose time when you're in the LMP or a GG free car, but in these normal cars uh, and supercars, you can actually have a lot of fun driving this game with these cars, and they're not just some car to f fill out the car library. So that's reason one. The handling is so so much fun to drive this game with and I even think the handling is, uh, handling is uh, good for controllers as well I've read some reviews uh, on the game uh, when driving with controller and I think it's more controller friendly uh, compared to the, uh, the last two games which were completely wheel driven games so thumbs up for that man that's really really good so that's the one reason the second reason is that the 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 upgrade the 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 whole single player career mode is really really fun to drive. I've recorded a lot of videos and they're going to be uploaded soon. Subscribe to see that by the way. But I've I've played this single player so much the last uh, few uh, few days and it's so much fun. You can really dive into the game and 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 start with this really trash car and then just work your way up to the LMP1 or Formula A and it's just so much fun um, I'm still at the lower cars at the moment but when you start out with this car and you can upgrade the turbo and all of this stuff it's it's really really fun um, I haven't gone up to GG3 on stuff yet. Uh, I don't know if it's fair that you can upgrade your car in those uh, what is called standardized. Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, the the we we all drive the same cars, uh, but it makes sense that okay, this is just a track day whatever at the start, and you drive with these other guys that have the same class car, and you've just put in this new. Uh, intake filter that gave you 20 more horsepower and now you can be a lot a, a bit more faster on the straights to maybe maybe when you drive the Toyota you can win over Nissan Skyline because you upgraded your car and 
this is just some of the things that is very good about the career mode um secondly about the career mode uh, i'm still at point two by the way is that you 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 have your own character you can customize your own character which is so much it, it just makes it so much more fun when you win a game and you know, win a race and you stand on this um, track with the number two and three and you can see your own character win the game it's like f1 2020 where you can make your own character not as advanced advanced but you can still make it with custom helmet uh, racing suit uh, nationality of course but all these kind of things you can customize um, and now we're at customization uh, point three under um, the career mode um, is that you can customize your own cars uh, this was a very big thing um, that you can customize it and uh, just personalize your own vehicle and you can drive that vehicle in online with other players and the reason why this is big is because when you drove online in I don't know some random lobby you could be in this standard uh, skin and you didn't have a teammate or maybe you did have a teammate uh, I don't know but it's just more fun that you have your own car you can choose your own colors own design and it just adds to this feeling in the single player part that that you you have your own team and you can and and you can work your way up through the 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 racing uh, career uh, with your own team and your own personalized team and i think a lot of uh, car games have made this uh, in the last year or so uh, project uh, no project Cars is just one of them uh, f1 2020 made the same with my team um uh, career mode and com uh, Assetto Corsa Competizione released uh, an update where you could customize your own team uh, or your own car so it's just one other thing that adds to the list why you should buy this game uh, yeah so yeah it's just a real good reason uh, the, uh, the third thing um, the third reason why you should buy the game is that it's it's not fully like like it's not the full game you actually get now it's it 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 seems like an odd reason to buy the game but there's I, I can I can see when I drive the game that there's so many things they can add still there's so many tracks there's so much f stuff that you can still get um and this is just another reason to buy the game because even though it's uh, it's it's pretty expensive at the moment it, it's really expensive but if you want this game and you want to be able to expand and buy DLCs and stuff this is the game for you um, so yeah the three reasons why you should buy the game is that it's so much fun to drive the handling is amazing and then the career mode that's freakishly amazing as well I love it I love that they went with the uh, Gran Turismo kind of concept uh, that's really good and the third thing is that it there come there, there will come so many DLCs uh, in the future that will make the game interesting over time and not just play it for whatever one month and then throw it out the window there will come a lot of DLCs for the time so yeah that's just three reasons why you should buy the game and I'm, I'm not I'm, I'm not I'm not just I'm not fanboying this game but I, I've just I'm just really really interested because this is the first time that you can actually get a Gran Turismo like game on PC uh, and I tried this on PC and uh, I've loved Gran Turismo uh, really a lot and I've just waited for a game that could be like Gran Turismo on PC and I think this is the one for it so if you're really into a fun handling model that is still pretty serious and you still have to work to be fast 
and if you like a deep single player uh, a single player uh, game mode so you can when your friends is online you can just drive on your own and earn your way up to be the biggest racing star in the whole world and if you really like customizing your stuff and all this stuff is th if this is the thing for you please buy the game it's really good it's really fun and even though there's some reasons you shouldn't buy the game I've made a video I think two days ago um, you, you, you should still consider buying it because it's really good and I have a lot more reasons why you should buy the game than why you shouldn't buy the game but it's just gonna be a really long video so it it yeah it's it's not bad it's re it's actually pretty good the game so just to sum it up if you like a game that isn't really try hard and you're gonna sweat your butt off uh, to be fast and but but there's still a different a difference uh, in how much you practice then like to become faster and stuff by the game if you practice a lot you will, will be faster than other people and if you don't practice enough you will still find the game fun and i think this this, this is the biggest thing about the game that is it's it it's opening up to more people to want to play the game you can drive it on console you can no, on, on, on controller you can drive it with wheel you can drive it if, if you're 12 years old or 20 years old and older so the game has just changed 180 degrees and I think that it has a lot of possibility to be become a really really good game if you just fix some bugs if they add a bit more cars a bit more tracks as they will because they will they will will be DLCs in the future so yeah just buy the game if you like those reasons and if you don't don't buy the game however if you like the video please leave a like and subscribe to see more content I'll upload these kind of talk videos I will upload career mode videos I will upload online multiplayer videos and highlight videos in the future so even though this it, it it is a really new channel please subscribe please like and if you have some crit criticism message me or yeah just type it in the comments i'm up to making my videos better so yeah thank you for watching and i'll see you guys on the other side peace